Brian vlog and today guys I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download games to USB loader TX. First you wanna go to Vim's Vim's lab, type, type in your little search box Vim's lab. I'll leave the link to it. Download the game, you can and you wanna click view on the side here and then download the game you're having right now. Make sure the format is WPFS and then download. As you can see, I've downloaded two games already. Uh, this one already extracted. So, uh, YouTube Studio, make sure it's the same uh, country as same country as your Wii or Wii U. So, go to your folder, go to download, and go to YouDraw Studio. Then go to extract file. Then you can extract it wherever you want. I'm actually just gonna extract it in this folder. So let it uh, finish extracting. So once it finishes extracting, you can see in my WPFS folder I have VideoStudio.wpfs. So now open up your V Backup Manager. On Files, click Add File, Video Studio, wherever you put it, and then uh, check whatever games you want. Click that. And also now make sure you have your hard drive uh, inserted. So uh, this is actually the same hard drive I just created format. Make sure your format is FAT32. If you if your current my current drive is actually NTFS. If you don't want to format the whole thing, you can just create a format and then format it as FAT32. And now, oops, sorry. Uh, and now. Um, I got to read backup manager. Make sure it's uh, ticked the UDRAW Studio or, or whatever game. Click drive one. So here, reformat is H. So select H for you. It will be different. So you can see it, the WPS folder. The games is here. And also, if you if it's a new drive, just format it. It will ask you to create a WPS folder. Just do that. Go to files. Go to UDRAW. Select transfer and drive one. Now this will take some time. If it's a small game, it shouldn't take that long. But if it's a very big game, like, like uh, two or three gigabytes, it'll take quite a while. So um, let it finish. So once it's finished transferring to drive one, the this thing should like stop showing. See drive one here, it's still not transferring. So let let uh, just give it some moment. I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm gonna pause it. And now it's actually done. You can see UDRAW Studio is here. And if you go in the File Explorer, if you go to the WPS folder, you can see the user association. So here you do not want to rename or do anything. You can see in the disk info, you can see all of this. So now we can safely uh, eject our drive and we'll move on to our Wii. Once we have finished the first step, what you want to do is um, you want to. Okay, let me just put in my thing. Okay, what I want to do is you want to take the USB drive that you just got the game and you want to plug it into your Wii or Wii U. For Wii, you want to plug it into the first port. And for Wii U, you want to plug it into the back, the first port at the back. Because when I try it at the front, it doesn't recognize. When I put it back, it does. So when I, you want to put it in. Then after that, you want to power on the Wii U or the Wii. So for this step now you can skip because um, to put in the to go to the Wii mode on the Wii U I can hold down B on the gamepad but I'm just gonna use the Wii remote to do it for now yeah. okay make sure you have a sensor bar and a Wii remote which which has some battery so now. Um, if it is for Wii U, if it says do you want to format it, click cancel, do not format it, if not you lose all your games. Then go to the Wii mode and then just select the display option. Just going to select display TV only. You can skip this for now because um, we are not in the mode yet. So give it a few minutes to go to Wii mode this is the virtual me how oh, it's going in click A you can see then now you want to go to USB loader GX 
make sure your V is uh, modded. This will be the same process for all V, even the V U V. So go to USB loader. Just give me a minute. So the thing can detect. So click USB loader and start. So when it's starting, it will finish as USB. So loading resources and you should see that the game should automatically pop up like this. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, if you're like on this screen over here, oops, sorry. If you're like on this screen like this, like this. Um, this, maybe the games don't show. You have to clean it. Um, wait, yeah, give me one minute. If the games do not show like this, if you click this and this one, you see the games are not showing, right? So now click this icon right here next to the ABC. Click this and click Wii Game. Click Wii Games. Click OK and you should see it should come up new. And then click the star icon. So sorry, click the star icon to, sh to show all the games properly. Okay, so you see, it will all be there. You can see. You can click this, and it will start. You can go settings. You can go to the settings. You can have go to settings. You can um put the rating. So yes, that is how you do it. And thank you guys for watching.